Hello my lovelies, how are you all today? We're here outside in my beautiful garden, it's a gorgeous day and today I'm going to show you how to make lemon uh, verbena infused oil. This is the plant, it has a gorgeous lemon smell. Oh, it's wonderful and it has many properties and we're going to talk about that when we go inside. So I'm just going to snip, I've already been cutting some. I'll just show you, this is it. And I'll just place that in my basket with all my lovely other branches that I've snipped off. And let's go inside and make this oil. Okay, so here we are with this wonderful lemon verbena. And this also makes a wonderful tea. Um, but today we're going to make lip balm. I'm going to show you how to make the tea as well. So you're going to need some jars, some nice clean jars. You can get bigger ones. And we're just basically just going to take all the herbs. Now I've washed this before. I washed them earlier this morning so they're all dried now. And then I snip them off the bush. So now you may say, oh, but I don't have a garden, but you can do that in a pot, right? Because my one is growing in a pot. I've got some growing in the earth, but you can also grow in the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of all of these. Now, the properties. This is very good for people who have problems sleeping, okay? So it's... It's a very relaxing oil. It helps for stress and nervousness. Um, it's very good uh, if you want to uh, uh, lose weight. It helps you slim. It helps against uh, your muscles so they don't get damaged. right? And it's very good um, if anyone's detoxing because that helps to strengthen the immune system. But lots of properties. Also very good if you have a fever, it will reduce your fever. Um, it's not good for women who are pregnant or who are breastfeeding, just so that you know that. That's the only things that you have to be careful with. Um, as I said, it has a lemon scent. It's also known as Eloise, it goes by two names. It has actually more than two names, but these are the most common names. And um, it's good for congestion, it's an antioxidant, it's an anti-inflammatory. See, all of that in one plant. So now what we do is, you see how that is? You just get your jar and you can just break it up and fill it up. Just put that there. Can you see that? I think you can. So you just want to cut some of them up so it can release the oils out of the herb. And you want to fill it up to the top. You see what I'm doing? And honestly, it has such an amazing smell. And you can break it up with your hands. If you want, you can use some scissors. But I like getting my hands in there. Yeah. Push it down. And these this um, plant can grow up to two to three meters. Yep. And it's a wonderful thing to have near you. It also, uh, insects don't like the smell, so if you have it near you, it will go away. <laughs> they will go away. You won't get bitten by mosquitoes. So, can you see? And the oils that you can use, the base oil, is, uh, I will be using almond oil, but you can also use uh, grapeseed oil, you can use olive oil, you can use whatever oil you want, but because I'm going to use this for massage, this infused oil, so I just pour the oil to fill the top. Okay, just a minute. Okay, I'm just going to take a toothpick 
and just give it a little stir to make sure the oil covers everything. Just pushing it down. And I'm just going to fill it up now to the top. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, paper, and this is uh, baking paper. Just cut it up. And it should be okay. Put that on top. Give it a little shake and then what you need to do okay so then you just what you need to do now is just label it so i'm just going to write lemon balm infusion and you add the date six of what will be june just like so and then you're going to place that on your windowsill and leave it for about two to three weeks so that it can really get well. Now there are other ways to do this. You can heat it up and you can do that for about an hour or so, taking it off the heat. And I've shown in previous videos how to do that. So I just wanted to show you how to do this one. And then you just place it on your windowsill. And if you see, I'll show you. I've been making all different ones. Oh, here I have, I'll show you, I've made a garlic infusion, again with almond oil. I've made a cayenne pepper, yeah, and I made black pepper yesterday. So these are really strong oils and I, I've done them purposely for, um, for the massage that I do for people who have got uh, severe uh, muscle problems and joint problems. This one I made today, it's a little calendula and this is lemon balm. So you see, you can do whatever you want with these oils and I'm going to leave them there on the windowsill so the sun is going to help the oil be extracted into the almond oil, into the base oil. And so that's it. So now if you wanted to make a tea, you would need one of these things. Now. These herbs are quite strong and potent, so you, you mustn't use too much um, in a, when you make a cup of tea. So it's one teaspoon for a cup of tea, so that would be about one teaspoon. And that's all you need. I know how to do this, because I've done it so many times, so you would use a measuring cup if you don't know what one cup is. You need just about that much. And then you just leave it for a little bit and when it's started to change a little bit of a yellowy color that's when it's ready and it has a wonderful taste but remember that it also helps with sleeping so it's a little bit sedative so you don't want to be drinking that throughout the day but if you feel really nervous then you can do it okay so my lovelies that's it i wish you a wonderful day and i will see you very soon with something else we'll see what i can come up with so Take care. Lots of agave to you all. Bye.